Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay. So this is going to be a uh, Aries Sun, Aries Moon and uh, Aries Rising weekly tarot reading for a June 17th to June 20, uh, 23rd, 2019 and uh, bear with me a second guys to shuffle the tarot cards and uh, we can jump straight away to the, to the reading. All right. <clears throat> so the first card, which represents the very topic of uh, Aries week, this is going to be the Hermit. Followed by the second card, which stands for the challenges that uh, Aries has to face throughout the week and possibly overcome. That is going to be the uh, Page of Swords. Followed by the third card, <clears throat> which stands as a positive aspect of the week here. We do have uh, the uh, Nine of Swords. And the last one that is to be the guidance that uh, Tarot has for Aries, or in other words, you know, what is the best possible approach toward the situation, <clears throat> should you want to take it under consideration, that will be the uh, Queen of uh, Queen of Cups. All right, so once again, guys, we do have the Hermit card followed by the uh, Page of Swords, which stands for the Challenge Hermit. It is the uh, general topic. Afterwards, we do have the positive aspect that is to be the um, Nine of Swords. And the last one, uh, we have the Queen of Cups, which is the positive aspect, uh, the guidance, excuse me. So, um, <clears throat> Aries, the way I see that uh, that reading here, it's, um, how do you say it in English, really? It's kind of like a, a, a week of, uh, of sobriety, or maybe a, it could be as well a wake-up call of some sort. <clears throat> this is uh, because the Hermit takes place on the first position and then we do have the Nine of Swords on the third position which uh, speaks for a, a realization of a certain aspect that uh, one, uh, it, could, it could be a realization for a couple of things, you know, or maybe for, for more than just a couple of things, but just in the grand scheme of things, it stands for example, realization that you don't belong where you are, realization that you can be more successful into your career, realization, you know, that you can create a relationship with a certain person you have as an interest, you know, while until this moment you have, uh, you didn't had any or you didn't have that um, awareness that you do have chances with and etc etc <clears throat> now here uh, the thing is uh, with the hermit card is that one uh, exerts uh, one's intelligence and as well one's wisdom into their uh, situations not just one situation but the, the the entire life that one is leading and this uh, wisdom and intelligence that one kind of like exerts in there allows them to foresee a different direction that one can take, you know, a different path that one can start walk. And uh, <clears throat> when one realizes that or you Aries realize that, um, it's uh, it will be some sort of a, a process of a withdrawal where you are to withdraw from the uh, ideas of the world and, and as well the ideas of others as well to analyze the whole thing that you are involved in. 
Uh, it's a very broad reading, guys, and I do hope that I do make sense when I'm talking about these cards, but uh, they can be literally related to anything <clears throat> that you can go through, all right? Because uh, if I have to give you an example, you know, you may be uh, very happy with uh, a friend of yours, you know, a friend that is very close uh, next to you, okay? And you are just the friends until this very moment and that week you know you suddenly realize that oh my god you know we we are more than friends okay we we can be more than friends we can be actually very happy together and this realization is going to be mutual or it could be that you are finding yourself in a very um <clears throat> how can i place a despondent marriage and you realize as after you exert your intelligence you know and your wisdom as well into the situation you realize that it is rather futile to try to save the whole thing and the withdrawal itself is going to be in regards to you evaluating your emotions what you want you know and <clears throat> how you want to proceed in general with your life and um it's, it will be a, a process of you detaching yourself from this uh, marriage. That is, for example, it could be as well in regards to your career. So it's like you focus on what is substantial from now on and you cut the bullshit off. And uh, from now on, after this week, move on, moving on forward, it seems that you are to become more consistent in regards to chasing off your goals. The accompanied card here is going to be the Tree of Swords, the Catalyst, the Formation. It is a, a passive enemies that we have. So Tree of Swords is a passive enemy to the Hermit card. It is like um, no regret. It, the card says no regret, no um, no remorse when one is to take on this um, on this direction. As a matter of fact, the regret itself, it will be if you don't take on this new direction, on this new foresight that you are to have, on this new insight <clears throat> that you are to obtain for yourself. Now, very important here uh, when the hermit hits you throughout the week is really to take the time to evaluate your emotions or in other words, to evaluate what you want substantial for yourself and for your life. <clears throat> you know, and uh, to overcome the fear of doing something in order to um, in order to actually start the the snowball through which you are to actually start moving into this uh, into this direction so the challenge here throughout the week is going to be a person page of swords so it's it's a companion most likely it's not someone very vital or rather like a very important that it is around you simply a person who uh, has to be cut loose as soon as you start walking on, on this new direction of yours that it is a substantial one and um, <clears throat> as the process begins you know you're walking onto this new direction now this person is going to show themselves is going to show you their uh, true nature of a how do you say it? a very selfish one someone who uh, only do things for their own personal benefit a person who is a uh, very vengeful vengeful as well and it's prone to uh, retribution is not the uh, the correct word here but more like vengeance the accompanied card of the page of swords that is to be the moon card the formation here it is a active neutrals so uh, <clears throat> what the main weapon or rather like what the main approach of uh, that person is to be in order to obstruct you you know start doing what is substantial for you and not for them is to try to spread vagueness and as well insecurity of the path that you are consciously about to do, to take like uh, diminishing you know your personal confidence like diminishing as well the benefits that you are to get from um from this new direction of yours or from this new actions of yours that you are to take after you intelligently you know scope your uh, scope your situation so how easily you can overcome that uh, challenge here is to keep a secret as possible or to keep for yourself you know um, the main 
the main plan of yours or the grand scheme of yours that you are trying to exert or that you are about to try to exert <clears throat> as you move along forward into the future. So just from these couple of cards, Aries, I can see that this week itself is going to be a, a huge wake up call for you. It is just a wake up call that it is meant for you and you only. And uh, for that reason, it will be best if you don't you know, brag about it. It's just really bragging about what you came up with, you know, or what you figure out for yourself. It's the worst thing that you can do because the very least that person page of sorts here is going to severely diminish the uh, exhilaration you are to have from um, that you have figured out, you know, what you want to do from now on with your life, with your relationship, with your career, etc, etc. So the next card that we do have <clears throat> is going to be the positive aspect of the week and that is going to be the uh, nine of swords so as a positive aspect the nine of swords speak about the realization of the um repercussions and as well the responsibilities you have but in this uh, in this specific case the responsibilities you do have toward yourself it's like being happy you know if we are following this example of the despondent marriage that you may find in yourself at then you are completely neglecting the responsibility of making yourself happy because that should be on the front stage here that should be something substantial for yourself so it's a uh, it's a diversion that we have in this week you Aries are to make that instead of contributing for someone else's happiness or um, <clears throat> some beneficial situation that doesn't benefit you at all you know this time around you know you're changing direction and you are making yourself happy instead and uh, with the nine of swords as well also speaks about the uh, absence of uh, of fear remorse and as well guilt that you may uh, that you may have along the way because you have to cut some people loose there is no question about it here with the uh, page of swords and uh, as a positive aspect here and as it says that you are going to have an absence of those uh, emotions and those feelings for the reason being you know that you are to start taking under consideration that after all you know you have to be happy because it is your life that you are living not someone um not someone else not someone else's life uh then it seems that you are to uh focus on these uh, or rather like attending to these activities and as well these enterprises uh which depends on you okay which are not influenced by a people who are to boss you who are to boss you around or who are to dictate your rules so it's kind of like you are taking over the rules of the game and you are dictating them for yourself the accompanied card here is to be the four of wands the formation it's uh, active friends that we have so the four of wands is active friend here it speaks for a uh, a very bold action or rather like a um how can i place it it's not forceful um, I don't know how to uh, what category to put on this action, but it's more like a, an action that you restrained yourself before to take or you have been afraid to take it before. But now, you know, uh, after you have these um, revelations, maybe, you know, with the uh, with the hermit card, uh, you know, you're no longer afraid and you take this let's say drastic measures and finally you complete a, a very important cycle uh, of uh, of your life cycle into your marriage or into your relationship or into your career cycle who a cycle which is going to be closed and from now on you know you can move on uh, forward into the future by executing a long-term plan of yours that uh, regards to either your lucrivity uh, successfulness as well in regards to career-wise or happiness when it comes to personal relationships like I said this uh, thing could relate to many things uh, in one's like uh, in one's life excuse me it could be as well uh, if we have to follow a, a career example here then it would be in an example where uh, you are to be presented an opportunity to um, swap, for example, one project for another. But in this uh, project that you're working currently, there is someone who is 
completely depending on you. I mean, their success is completely depending on you. And as you share this opportunity for you being swapped into more lucrative project, that person starts to diminish the benefits you are to get from this uh, project because the Page of Swords it is very uh, skilled with words and it's a master how can I place it? it's master skill it's to present fictions as facts so it will be very easy for them to convince you that you are actually signing for the losing side while in reality you are signing for the winning side it's just they are not involved into the team of the winning of the winning side uh, and the last card that we have it is the guidance <clears throat> that you should follow here and that is the Queen of uh, Cups. So the Queen of Cups could speak a couple of things. Uh, the first one is to cherish the feelings of your heart. So whatever this opportunity or this insight of you um, on your behalf, you know, emerges, you are to feel more emotionally complete, you know, emotionally stable, and it is very likely to feel exhilaration as well. So as soon as you feel those emotions, then that is the direction that you need to go forward with. Additionally to that, the Queen of Cups um, urges you to plan for a, a long-term benefit. Do not focus on something temporary, on something that is going to happen just over a night, okay? And after that, it's not going to have any influence whatsoever for your uh, beneficial unfoldment in regards to the future, but more like focus on a, a grand scheme of things or, or a grand goal of yours to be, let's say, a uh, executive director if we're talking about career or to be married for a, a suitor of yours. So if uh, if it is about, for example, that you are trying to get into a relationship, all right, you're single, you do have a few suitors here and you are do not, and you don't, it, it, you're finding it very difficult to decide which one you want to be with. Well, this card advises you to be with the one which you feel that you do have best chances to end up in a, a family, okay? The accompanied card, that is to be the strength uh, the formation, it is a, a passive enemies that we have. And as a passive enemy, the strength card to the uh, Queen of Cups here, it speaks that uh, also as you follow the emotions of your heart, all right, or you nurture and cherish the emotions of your heart and you acknowledge them, uh, <clears throat> additional um, requirement is not to involve yourself into such kind of a, a situation or directions or paths that you are to take from now on. Uh, which are making your temper to go wild, okay? To which situations are prone to put you in a position where you are going to outburst, where you are going to feel very insecure and as well uh, inconsistent uh, position. If we have to talk about relationships, for example, that is to be you involving yourself with a person who is. Um, very energetic, you know, um, kind of like a very handsome as well, but rather very inconsistent and it's provoking you 24 seven just for the, I don't know, shits and giggles. Okay. So, uh, that was your, uh, weekly tarot reading Aries. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys. And, um, I hope that we're going to see each other around until then. Bye.